Welcome from Holy Trinity Twickenham on this, the Tuesday of Holy Week. We are continuing our series of short reflections looking at the Gospel of John, where we've been following in Jesus' footsteps, following him between the events of his triumphal entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday and the events of the Last Supper on Monday Thursday. And in our reading today, we come across one of the more extraordinary statements in the Gospel where John records Jesus saying, when I am lifted up, I will draw all people to myself. Now today we'll have an opportunity to look at the verse in a little more detail and we're going to have our reading in just a moment after which Herbie is going to lead this reflection as he tells us what Easter means to him. A reading from John's Gospel, chapter 12, beginning at verse 27. The Son of Man must be lifted up. Jesus said, Now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? But for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show by what kind of death he was going to die. So the crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? So Jesus said to them, The light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest the darkness overtake you. The one who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may become sons of light. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Easter has around like four main points of meaning for me. Uh, The first one is perseverance. So coming up to Easter in Lent, I feel like giving up things for Lent, you know, you have to persevere to, you know, stay away from it, keep things going. For my dad, he gave up chocolate for Lent, so he's been persevering very hard uh, every day when we go to the shops and he can't buy chocolate. For me, I've started upping revision time over the Lent period, uh, so I've really got to persevere to, you know, spend more time, work harder. Uh, the second point is a new start, you know. Uh, at this point, Jesus did, well, Jesus died for our sins. So it's a vital opportunity for us to, you know, turn over a new leaf, you know, have a new slate. Uh, for me, it's starting off with revision, coming towards uh, the exams. Again, you know, as a young person, I'm trying to work harder, uh, be more proactive. Uh which links to, you know, third point, which is change, uh, change for the better, development uh, as people. For me, I wish to become a lot more dedicated to my studies, work a lot harder. So I think Easter is a really good opportunity for, um, you know, reflecting on how we can be better people. And uh, the fourth part, which is uh, a lot lot less linked to the other three is family. So you know, spending time with my loved ones and seeing how they're doing. We're about to draw this time of reflection to a close with a very brief prayer and then with some questions that we can take with us into the rest of this day. But before we do that, I just want to highlight one word from our reading. 
And it's a word that comes from verse 32, which in Greek is elkuso. Elkuso. And it means to draw or to drag or to haul. And it comes from Jesus' extraordinary statement where he says, when I am lifted up, I will draw, I will drag, I will haul all people to myself. So let's bring this time of reflection to a close with a prayer and then by looking at the questions which we can take with us into the rest of this day. Let us pray. O God, who by the passion of your blessed Son made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life, grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer pain and loss for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.